uh, um, to me, I see that God helps you handle what you, you have been given. So knowing what to say to a grieving person will also help that person during that grieving period. So in this book, you will get those tips on what to say, what not to say, and practical tips on how to support someone who, who is grieving the, or, or who is going through that process. Thank Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of IWI Marketplace Chit Chat where we give opportunities for entrepreneurs to talk about themselves and what they do. Right here with me, I'm with Clarice and Garfor, the author of Grief to Grief. This is an amazing book that Clarice has put together to help our community and she's here to talk about it. So we Tell us a little bit more about herself. Thank you so much, I Irene Marketplace. It's really a pleasure coming on your on your show today to talk about my book in the capacity of an author. But I'm still getting used to it. And like you said, I'm Clarice Clarice Anger for I'm a Cameroonian born, uh, based in the UK. Um, I'm a mom married and I'm also a mom of an autistic boy who is 15 years so I am an autism ambassador and an autism advocate then a new author and also because of my experience with autism and having a child who is autistic so I I am a coach and, and a mentor to special parents of special needs children or parents who have children who who are autistic, and then I'm wow, also a, a talk show host. That's so I'm the leading that's voice. Amazing. You're a yeah. mom, you're a talk show host, you are an author, you're doing quite a lot of things, and you're doing amazingly well, especially you know, writing a book. Yeah. That's really wonderful. And you know, congratulations! Mm -hmm. Congratulations! So, you're, you're well. Yeah. Thank you so much. So can you give us a pleasure. little sketch about the book? Mm -hmm. Well, Grief to Greed, it, it's, a, it's a touching tale of love, loss, pain, and tenacity. So it came up after the loss of my baby who lived for one hour, 20 minutes. So going through those emotions when you are grieving, the, the, the emotions hit you so much. Depend, it's, sometimes it hits you very bad depending on how much you felt for, for, for your loved one, how much you loved your, your person. And sometimes as well, the circumstances surrounding the death of the individual will also, uh, also determine how much you, you will grieve. So in, in a nutshell, grief to grief is a touching tale of love, loss, pain, and ten tenacity where a, a heartbroken, grieving mom a, a throws put across her, her emotions, which she encounters when she lost her little baby, thereby raising awareness on pregnancy and infant loss. And, and because grief, death is a conversation where people do not talk about. So it's to open a conversation. Wow, that, that's amazing. And I'm really glad you decided to open Thank this conversation because like you rightly said you know a lot of topics like this we do not really discuss about it and so people go around not knowing how to interact with somebody who is grieving so for you to put that in a book that is amazing so but let's dive into the yeah. book i would like you to give us some you know the experiences some of the experiences you shared in the book like you know since the book talks about grief and you know how can people communicate or interact with somebody who is uh grieving yeah grief to grief it's a touching tale of love loss and and tenacity so obviously when you are grieving you go through this roller coaster of emotions usually they, they are often in stages and it's you have denial, you have anger, bargaining, depression before you get to that acceptance stage. 
So putting this book together basically started on started with me with, with me journaling because it was such a painful uh, a situation. It was such a painful experience, and because it's also a topic which people do not really uh, talk about it because of the pain, because of the emotion attached to the topic. So I discovered that there's a pen and there's a paper for me to write. So when I started writing, I thought I felt different. So it was kind of therapeutic. So in this book, if anyone reads this book, you'll be able to, to get tips on how to support people who are grieving. You will be able to know what you can say and what you cannot say. Basically, there are statements, there are sentences, there are things which people say to a grieving parent when they've lost someone. I may just say an example of, for example, you, you, you've you lost a loved one and I come to you, oh, please, Ivan, don't worry. God cannot give you what you cannot handle. Uh, uh, this, so many people still think nowadays that, that that is a healing statement, but that statement is so painful. Uh, um, to me, I see that God helps you handle what you, you have been given. So knowing what to say to a grieving person will also help that person during that grieving period. So in this book, you will get those tips on what to say, what not to say, and practical tips on how to support someone who, who is grieving the, or, or who is going through that process, process of grief. At times, people, because people do not know what to say because they are afraid that they may say something to offend the, 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 the bereaved, they end wow. up not saying let, anything. Let me, let me ask you a quick question. Sometimes it so, has, yeah. you know, like uh, authors like mm -hmm. Chinua Achebe or the, the Nigerian lady, what's her name again? Amma. Yeah. Right, that's the name. She Sometimes, you know, like when they publish a book, you know, they usually mm -hmm. have people, you know, sending them messages to, you know, say something about the books or comments, you know. Have you experienced that? Mm -hmm. Yes, I have oh, one of my friends actually reached out to me and she, she said she was going to be giving me feedback after each each chapter. So she she reached out to me, read the line in in the first chapter because the first chapter actually is more of romance and everything. Because the grief that I went through, it actually threatened the love that I have for the rest of the family or the, it threatened the love that I have for everyone around me. So I had to go back in time to trace where this love actually started. And that bit the, that's the relationship between my husband and myself. So she, th this friend came to me and, and she said, oh, I read the line uh, and it says the, the, the thoughts that were going on in my head were in another world, you were just in another world. Yeah, so in chapter one, you have lots of things like that. There's another person, um, Alan, he said, this is an amazing piece made up of uh, emotions, tragedy, love, poetic, because I actually discovered that our, I'd, I have some poetic traits in me. So one of the chapters has poems. So I've had quite a few, a few feedbacks on, especially on chapter one, because it's, <laughs> well, that, it really, really makes nice. you laugh. I mean, I'm really yeah. glad you did this, you know, and I'm pretty sure so many people are going to read this book and they are going to learn from it, you know. So, but uh, tell me one funny thing about, you know, uh, uh, one of the chapters, you know, like uh, a comic relief, you know, in the book, because sometimes people will hear grief to grief and they'll be afraid, you know, to read it, <laughs> that it may be a lot of griefing, you know. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> you you permit me to uh, uh, look for a, a nice chapter, a nice line in chapter one, then. <laughs> so, yeah. So actually, actually my, my, my husband was, um, he, he was in, in the seminary, in the Mill Hill. He was a Mill Hill missionary. So, so it was one of those friends that whenever I think of, I'm just happy, I'm just excited. So he went, when he was still at the um, at the New Hill Missionaries, so he used to come home and and visit. So all the times he 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 used to go around with a small umbrella. So my nieces and my nephews gave him the name the brother with the with a small umbrella, 
And so I said somewhere, the brother with the small umbrella once came and found me sleeping and recuperating on the sofa, all helpless. My high flat top haircut, which was trendy at the time, was a bit out of shape. The picture of me in my short old kaba, in quotes, it's dressing gown like. So the, the, <laughs> so the picture of me in my short old kaba stretched on the sofa still makes me smirk like Cinderella. <laughs> Every time it sneaks up on me. Well, I guess we all have such moments. Only death can delete from our hard drives. That funny after intravenous infusion feeling still had me broken. When my eyes awoke to find to find another pair unblinkingly staring into my face. The look in his eyes was quite intense. I couldn't believe he was by my side. The timing was just perfect. I still don't know, but there was something about his presence that made me just want to get up and start running about despite my frailty. I don't know if <laughs> I don't know if if I should say thera therapeutic, but there was that healing effect somewhere deep in me. All I could do was let a weak smile tuck at the corner of my mouth. Maybe I thought that was the coolest thing to do at that time. Please do not ask me. I'm just as confused as to why it was like that. The brother with a small umbrella. So at this point, the day he came to visit, I was I, I think I had malaria, so I was really down. So I would, I'd just had a drip at, at home. So he came visit. He, he came to visit while I was sleeping. So this is the scenario I'm kind of describing. I like I like the way <laughs> there are so many it. I mean, It's really like poetic and. <laughs> You know the expression about the umbrella. Also, it's quite a yeah. good humor. Can can you show us the book? I mean, you have the book right there with you. Can you show? Us? Wow, it, I like the cover. It, it's so uh -huh. it's so beautiful. <laughs> so, it, is this the is this the first of so many books to Thank come, you. or what are your plans? Uh, definitely, this is the first of so many books to come. Actually, my original plan was to write at, uh, about our experience with our son who is autistic because it's a whole journey and it's a whole story and a whole book to read. For, for some reason, this little guy, David James, he came, he came with a lot of thoughts. He came with a lot of emotions and I couldn't do without writing about, about him first. May, maybe because writing about him and writing this book to me, it was therapeutic, it was healing. And I know there are so many people out there who will want to read a book like this one for the healing journey. So that, there are still that's so many really, That's really wonderful. And I out. assure you that so many people will get to read this mm -hmm. book, especially the fact that there are some new information in there that a lot of us, you know, will be getting it for the, for the first time. So can you... Uh, I mean, I know there are lots of tips on the book and many people will read it and will get that. But just share, before we go, just share us some of your coping strategies that you have in the book, you know, of how you've been able to cope with grief, you know, yeah. with the loss of your son. Okay. Yeah, when, yeah, when everyone is grieving, but, uh, grief is as, um, is as different and as unique as everyone's fingerprint. So no, no two people can experience grief the same way, which means you and I can be brothers and sisters. You've lost a parent, you will grieve differently, and I will grieve uh, uh, differently as well. So grief goes with love. How much you loved someone will, to an extent, determine how much you will grieve that, that person. Some of the, the, the ways or the... the um, coping mechanisms I'd, I used to, to go through this grieving process. One of them is, is that resilience. I think I have a natural re resilience. Sometimes I want to think that based on my, my background, because if, if your background is a humble one, it's a one way, you've always known that, uh, how, how to struggle. You've always known how to face things, no matter how difficult they are. And hands on, yeah, you can easily go through go through difficult moments. And I know there's a God up there who who who, who takes care of us. Whatever thing He throws at us, He He takes care 
of us as well, then just that that writing, that journaling, it helps quite a lot, which is, I think it, it's the greatest that um, coping mechanism that I had because I discovered that when you are writing, you are speaking to someone who will not judge you, who will not ask you, why are you shedding these tears today? Or why are you feeling the way you are feeling? You are just writing. And, and that's how therapy is actually, when you go for therapy, you do most of the talking. The other person there is only listening, which is what, what the book does. And then family and friends, that, that um, network of people around you who support you, it really, really wow. helps. So usually I, I, I usually give the last 30 seconds to, you know, say something to our audience about, you know, where they can get the book or, you know, how they can contact you if they want to reach out to you to sign their copy or like whatever you want to say, this is the time for you to say it. Okay. All right. I just want to say thank you once more for this opportunity and, and, First of all, before I let you know where to get this book, do not get uh, disappointed or, or do not be afraid to read this book because it says grief. Because I know someone actually mentioned to me, oh, it says grief, it doesn't, it, 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 it's not for me. Let me tell you this, grief will affect each and every one of us one day. And besides, grief does not only happen to you when you've loved a, a, a loved one. We grieve divorces, we grieve broken relationships, we grieve a, a, a child with a disability and so many, so you, you can lose your job today and you grieve that job. So grief to greed will give you tips on how to support a bereaved individual. It will give you ways on how to communicate with an individual who who, who, who has lost a loved one. Because obviously, normally we do not know. And grief to grief, grief to grief gives us the opportunity to be able to talk openly, freely around these topics, which most people could consider as too emotional, too tabooy. Because talking in itself helps and it heals. So you can get this book, first of all, on iWing Marketplace. You can get it uh, on the Kindle from Amazon. You can also get a, a hard copy on Amazon and you can, you can also get a hard copy from waterstones.com. And then those who are in the UK, you can contact me, which I will put my phone number here for wow. an autograph. Thank you so much. And thank you all for watching. I see uh, Gifty Sappho has been, you know, saying some very nice things about the book. I see uh, LJ Limited. Oh, thank you, Tisa Bennett, for, for joining us. Tisa Reed Bennett has a beautiful uh, artisan shop where you can get earrings, you can get sandals. Thank you so much, Clarice and okay. Gaffo, for writing this book. This is amazing. Guys, please, you can get your copy on Amazon and, you know, wherever you are. You and get your copy in the UK or she can ship it to you. Thank you, Clarice, for your time. Thank you for sharing all these amazing tips with us. We look forward to having you on Ivy Marketplace again. Thanks. Definitely. Thank you so much, Ivan. And you have a blessed day. Thank you and so much. Happy and New, happy year, in New Year in advance to you too. Merry Christmas to you all watching. Please keep supporting businesses on iWing Marketplace. You know when you support our community, somebody out there do a happy dance. Thank you all for watching. Thank you, K Coin. K Coin is amazing. I follow your work about entrepreneurship. I love what you're doing. Thank you all, and we're out. Thank you.